All right, so first things, uh, let's just state for the fact I don't have any professional lights going on right now with this video. I'm filming this video with the new iPhone 12 Max Pro and it's on a setting of 4K, 24 frames uh, per second. Um, and the only lights that I have right now, um, I have some recessed lights that are like right in front of my face. I have this kitchen light that's behind me, the ceiling fan, and I also have two more lights. I have a light over my sink and I have a light over uh, my stove right now. All right, as you can see, I know you can see the background's a little disarray, but I'm recovering from a kitchen fire that I had a few months ago. So everything got removed and cleaned and uh, just waiting for my new floors to be installed. So until that happens, I'm leaving everything in boxes, but you know what? That doesn't stop progress, baby. All right, so let's get to it. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to turn, um, I guess, some of these lights off so I get a different contrast. So we get a different contrast and uh, and see what happens before I put the newer lights on. So this is what I'm looking like without those overheads on. This is what I'm looking like without the ceiling fan on. And of course, you probably can't see anything right now. This is what I'm looking like without that kitchen light on uh, underneath my sink. All right, so that was before the newer lights. And this is what it looks like with the kitchen lights off. And now I have the new, newer LED NL660s on full white glass. So, um, I'm new to this. I don't know what it looks like, but this is what it looks like with the lights. I have two lights on both sides and uh, they're on full blast. So this is what it looks like with no lights in the background. Now, Douglas, if you don't mind, can you come over here and stand over here? Cause I want to see, I, I want to see for myself. Yeah, that's light. fucking like, that shit's I'm like overexposed. Like, that shit's lit though. And this is what it looks like with the white turned all the way down or off and with the yellow lights turned all the way up. And this is what it looks like with both lights turned all the way up. So right now what you're seeing is there are no lights on behind me and the Neewers are full white, full yellow. So with a little experimentation, I'm new to the lighting game. And what I've achieved now, it is about, what, what time is it now? It's 11.42 at night. So there's no natural light coming through the window. But what I've done is I've turned the yellow light off on the newers and I have both of them dialed to about, uh, to about nine o'clock. But what I did is I turned on the ceiling fan behind me in order to put a little, like that third light. It's not exactly above my head, but it's still some light behind me. And I think you can see, if you compare the, the footage that I showed before this, it kind of lights the back up just a little bit more. So it's gonna be a little trial and error before I get this dialed in. Maybe I should focus on doing videos more in the daytime to take advantage of that light. But in the meantime, uh, you know, this is what I'm working with. And just, just by plugging these lights in and experimenting a little bit, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away by the difference lighting makes and having specific lights to aim. I mean, just be like, DJ, turn, just take the knob and turn it up and down a little bit. So it's, it's gonna show where um, the one that's like facing like, uh, I guess it's at the um, nine o'clock position, right. So as, as DJ's turning it up and down, you can actually see where one side of my face is getting lighter and darker. Like turn it all the way down, DJ. See, you turn it down, now the, the left side of my face is completely dark. And if you turn it back up to nine o'clock, you can see where the left side of my face has, you know, gotten bright again. And like so this light behind also makes a difference. I mean, the back is kind of dark and you know, you could probably still see my face because of these lights. But with this light on, it kind of lightens stuff on the back. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch up a little bit. I'm just gonna leave one light in front and I'm gonna try to put a colored light in back and see what that looks like. Uh, I just moved one of the newer lights uh, from the left from behind the camera to behind me and put a red filter on it facing up. Just, you know, I do a whim just to see what it looks like. The light came on the front of, uh, on the camera side of my iPhone which you know, it must be sensing it's too dark in here, even with that, when I had the two lights up at the same time, the light never came on. So um, it's, 
was just a test. Um, nothing too deep. I'm figuring things out for myself. Um, this is the new, newer NL660. I'm Conrad Carr, and this is to get to the point reviews. And I don't know if I got right to it tonight or not, but hey, I'm a work in progress, all right? Representing the old digital content, peace.